Welcome back guys, welcome to another session of uh, the animal cell culture lecture from Shomul's Biology and this time this is going to be a lecture using PowerPoint because we have been discussing about the different models of cell culture and how to do cell culture, the growth of cell inside the culture. Now in this video I'll be talking about the sequential stages for uh, the isolation of cells or cell lines from uh, the in vitro culture. That means uh, for the in vitro culture we require cells from uh, the tissue, the living tissue or living organism. So you take that tissue out, take the cell out from the tissue, then put it so that uh, eventually it produces cell line. Remember when you first take the cell from uh, the tissue or living tissue, that cell is termed as a primary cell and the cell culture for that is termed as primary cell culture. And then after one passing, that is the transfer and subculture of that cell to the next level, it will be termed as cell lines uh, afterwards. So let's begin with it. So what we require here in this case, we start with uh, the respected tissue that we want to work with. And from that respected tissue what we take, we take cell or tissue in culture for in vitro purposes. And then that cell is taken and we do the first culture that is the primary culture. That means we take fresh, uh, fresh cells from uh, the tissue, we put it into the culture media with all the nutrients and uh, environment that will support the growth of the tissue and cell growth and then uh, that is called the primary culture. And after the primary culture we do the secondary culture and secondary culture will be termed only after subculturing that cell. That means once the cell completely grow onto the surface of the media and it no longer can grow due to the depletion of all the nutrients, we take that cell from that media and put it into another fresh media that is called subculturing process. And after one subculture, we now get the culture which is called as secondary culture. Now from that secondary culture, whatever cell we get after this secondary culture or subculture process, we call them as the cell line, right? Now again, a cell line can be generated via many multiplications of subcultures. We can do multiple subcultures from one cell. Now dep it depends on the cell type that how many times we can subculture that cell and this is called uh, the you know confluency of the cell this is called the viability of the cell. Now there are many varieties of cells some cell are only capable of dividing up to you know uh, 60 uh, times 30 40 maximum up to 60 times after 60 times of subculture they will not divide anymore and we won't get any uh, cell afterwards right. So, so from the cell line we can have many different varieties of cell line like you know single cell isolation process can be done or we can do successive subculture from that cell line and the third thing that I uh, also we can do is we can get the immortalization of that cell line. So once we get a cell line we can go for single cell isolation from that cell line to study in future and store them for the purpose. We can take that cell line and we can do successive subculture to continuously study that cell and property of the cell uh, in different uh, environmental conditions and in, in different uh, our, our in different experiments. And third is the immortalization. That means we can immortalize that cell pretty easily. And once that cell is immortalized, we, we how many times, no matter how many times we subculture it, it will not die. It will not lose its viability. It will not lose its growth pattern. Now from the single cell isolation and immortalization and subculture in all the way, from the single cell isolation we can get clonal cell line. Clonal cell line means a single type of cells in higher amount. I mean from the cell that we get and during all the subculture processes, sometimes a cell loses some of its uh, primary characteristics that of their like their parents. So in this case they lose some of their parental characteristics and they have changed a lot. So during that part we will see some cells are having slightly different biochemical and morphological structure than the parent cell. So we can select those cells to produce the clonal line that means uh, a huge variety I mean huge number of cells with same type of cell. So less variety but one type of cell multiple numbers that's called the clonal cell line. We can produce it from the single cell isolation. 
uh, from the uh, immortalization we can transform uh, those those cells those cells are called transformed cell lines because usually once we take the cell that cell is mortal but during uh, this all the course of subculturing processes it can happen by spontaneous mutation via any chemical or physical agent or it may result due to you know our artificial transformation of those cells using vectors and other processes other other medias so this is called the loss of control loss of control of growth loss of control of you know contact inhibition of the cells and then those cells become transformed cell line that means we can grow those cells uh, again and again they will not die they will just behave like cancerous cells and uh, malignant cells they will just grow and divide without getting any information without knowing anything they will prepare their own growth factors and they will grow and divide and third uh, and, and third is the successive subculture process is it ultimately ends into the senescence that is the aging of the cell and ultimately the cell will die and it will happen if we ultimately uh, do subculture again and again but if the cell line becomes transformed in any way then successive subculture will not turn into senescence remember this and this immortalization can be taken now finally to another thing that is producing of production of immortalized cell lines and those immortalized cell lines will grow and divide throughout the time without knowing anything much and that's uh, kind of it guys that's in a sense how you can isolate a cell line from in vitro culture and do all these processes you can ultimately get the clonal cell line you can ultimately get immortalized or transformed cell line or you can get a uh, death of the cell so it depends on what type of cell uh, line you ultimately require and accordingly you will do all this stuff